Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episode 12 of season 2 of The Age of Magnus. But let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Now, you probably want to know what the fuck I'm going to talk about. We're not going to talk about that now. We're going to talk about that at the end of the episode. But if you follow me on Twitter, you already know. Mm-hmm. Because, boy! I, the things I, I want to say, because remember how I said ish last week? And... <laughs> um, and I was like, yeah, it's really weird that they're ending it with just 12 episodes. You know what, fuck it, we're going to talk about it now. And we'll talk about more in the end. So it was already confirmed this morning that this show was getting 12, uh, 12 more episodes. Okay, number one, thank God. Because, as I said in my tweet, however this episode would have ended in a cliffhanger, oh, I would have been heated. And I would have been like, oh, possibly, yes, this is definitely the worst season because you're ending it on a cliffhanger and you're ending it with a lot of answers unanswered. I mean, a lot of questions unanswered, and it would have been so messed up. But the fact is that we now only have to wait until fall. I'm okay with that. I'm not as mad as I was, you know, last week. Because last week, I was pissed. Because I was like, how are you going to end this show in one episode? Everything that has happened from episode 1 to 11 in this final episode. And I was like, that's impossible. That's inhumanly possible unless you really cut out like the non-detailed parts but mm, thank god <laughs> it's not gotta be the title of this episode especially with what just happened a couple of days ago slash today are you serious There's nothing there. Cool. Yeah, nothing's there. I still have a bad feeling on him. And also... As I was saying, also... Ain't Lucy and the teacher on their way? Oh, so you saw it. So then why couldn't the other two see it? Because they're not qualified? Phil, we need to know. Your teacher has split y'all up. Which I don't like. Oh my god. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's gonna rain like almost ten minutes. She was a child, so come on now. Kids usually get obsessed with something.
Right? Can we go? Mm-mm. Oh, hell no. Nah. That, that looked like a freaking <laughs> spider scorpion. Oh, my God. Well, I feel like he's about to die first. It makes the most sense. You know why? Because he's alone. Whoever is alone is usually the one who dies first. Really? Oh, not anymore. Damn it. Never mind. I feel like Zoe's gonna go first. Now, here's my thing. Why did he walk away from Chise? Why did you get separated?
Oh shoot, I oh, the way open there. Now, where are you? Oh, y'all lost. Oh. Bingo! Y'all just assumed. She owes everything. I can't speak. She owes everything to him. That's why Zoe wants to say can say it. I still don't trust him. I don't care what you tell me. Seriously, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> oh. See, I, I really expected them to stay down there longer, but... Oh, baby.
because he's your brother. <laughs> Dang, konnichiwa, my ass. We need to talk about what happened. <laughs> And she can say. But see, how can you be so sure of that, especially with the letter last week? She likes being here. Okay, thank God y'all was gonna run after them. Like, That means, Doug, close off. See, that also makes sense on why Chise told Silver last week, like, oh, hey, we're going to be at school for a while. We're not going to be able to come home, so you just keep home nice and warm. Oh, damn. You gonna end like that? that no, that that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Christ, what the fuck is about to happen next? See, that's still a cliffhanger, though. A still a cliffhanger. So, uh, like I said, I'm not mad. Now, if I did not get that email, and I had not checked my emails as well, and saw that um, notification of part two, then yeah, oh, I would have been heated after recording this. I would have been like, well, that's it. We're never going to get an answer and such, because something also tells me that there is no preview for episode 13 at the end of this episode. You normally would think because of that, but with 58 minutes left, I mean, seconds left, mm -mm, they're, they're like, hey, you gotta wait the whole summer um, to necessarily figure out what could happen next. Now, I have questions on that. I, I have a lot of questions on everything, but mm, I'll say this. The first half of this was not bad. I mean, it is on par with season one, but then I don't want to completely review it as a whole until we finish the second half of this show. But it was still good. There were some things that were very confusing. Um, as a non-anime, I mean, <laughs> no, no, as a non-manga reader and then, you know, thinking of so many different things and they're going like one minute one like this and then one like that like who freaking knows what the heck is about to happen next with this show and that whoa i mean because truly anything can happen like but yeah if i had a not seen that freaking bit i mean that email today oh i would have been heated hella heated i probably would have been saying like okay well this is it. I'll see y'all whenever the heck season three comment. And then I probably would have been like, I don't know if I'm going to continue watching this. But yeah, I have a different thought now. I mean, because still, like, it's a cliffhanger. And it's just like, okay, what does the I mean? Um, because my thing is, I feel like it is Phil's grandma who's the big bad because she's already strange as is. There's something else about her that we particularly don't really know. I don't like the fact that the woman who was there, you know, um, having the owl speak for the grandmother and then, you know, the owl leaves and then, you know, hey, she hasn't gotten cast out. And it's like, okay, who are you to fill? Are you her guardian besides the grandmother? Like, what are you? Like I said, once again, several unanswered questions. But I do like the fact that they are officially closing the school out to the public. And that only the students will be there. But still, a lot of things can still happen. Even with the school closed and under watch. Like, because come on now. There is a traitor amongst somebody around this freaking group. So my money is, it's also one of the staff members. And it could be someone who we just recently met. Or it could have been someone, you know, who's been there for the longest freaking time. Who knows? Once again, just frequently met. But, I mean, it was a good thing. Good, good season. Second half. Well, first half. But, all I have are questions. And those questions are not going to be answered. For at least three months. <laughs> three whole months. I, I mean, I get it. I truly understand the reason why they wanted to do this into two parts. I just think, in my opinion, it would have been a little bit better to just continue it on to next freaking week. But I think at the same time, they did not want to compete with everything that is about to come out in summer. Officially about next week. Even though my first summer show does not start until Saturday. But summer is heating up with all these damn shows that are coming so I completely get it but at the same time it see it would have been even a little worse if they had said oh second half ain't coming out until next year that would have really pissed me off especially ending in a cliffhanger and then it saying like at the end coming in 2024 that would have been the ultimate bullshit but thank god they didn't do that but now it's just the question of once again should I read the manga or should I not but I think I'm gonna wait. I, I really think I'm genuinely going to wait because I, I mean with this series because I do like it as much yes and curing minds wants to know but at the same time I I can kind of be patient on it. Now if there's like a video essay that pops up on my YouTube channel like well <laughs> not my YouTube channel on my YouTube or you page or something like that then yeah I might you know want to be a little curious and just you know but 
who knows that might not happen but you know that's just a little guess but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards office well no let's do it like this the entirety of the first half of season two of the ancient magnus bride if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single night join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all in the fall for the second half of the show to see how the heck this is going to end who the heck are the bad guys and who possibly is not going to make it out of this series for season two because i feel like teachers students because zoe zoe was one of them that i thought was gonna die today but um he's still kind of on my list but yeah somebody's dying in this second half of this show and really it could be anyone but of course i could say chise will not be one of them but even though i have seen in the past with other shows that i have seen yes a main character can die even the main character she he whoever they can also die as well so here's hoping nothing happens to her that we get happy ending for chise and everyone else but we have to wait and see. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.